Ricochet Croquet has developed into an increasingly popular version of croquet. It was originally developed as a stepping stone for golf croquet players to learn how to play association croquet. It uses some of the association terms. Becoming a good ricochet player requires consistent accurate distance and roquet shots, something that applies to all codes of croquet, and thinking ahead by using tactics to load future hoops in the playing sequence. Some of these shots involve taking a risk to gain the reward of winning. The starting position for this video has blue and black balls near the south boundary adjacent to hoop 1. The red ball is in the central area of the court and is referred to as being in a pivot position. Balls in this pivot area can be more easily rocated to and from almost any other position on the court. The yellow ball is in front of hoop 2. This is referred to as being in a pioneer position. Any ball trying to run that hoop can rocade this pioneer ball to pick up two continuation strokes. These strokes then allow accurate positioning and running of that hoop. Consider pausing the video and thinking through what shots you would play. Blue first roques or rushes black behind hoop 1, thus gaining two continuation shots. A ball that is behind a hoop is referred to as being in an escape position, i.e. a ball that run, runs or escapes that hoop can then use the escape ball to gain two continuation shots. Having won two continuation strokes, Blue then takes a hoop running position in front of hoop 1. And Blue now runs hoop 1 and gains one continuation stroke. Blue now rushes black to a pivot position in the centre of the court. Blue now has two continuation strokes. The temptation for a new player is to now go down and use yellow to run hoop 2. Now this is all very well and possible, however assuming that they run hoop 2, we now have nothing to use at hoop 3. So blue uses its first continuation stroke to a position behind red, and then its second continuation stroke to rush red to be in front of hoop 3 i.e. a pioneer position. As red was a live ball, then blue again picks up two more continuation strokes. Blue now positions near the yellow ball. It then rushes yellow to an escape position behind hoop 2. Blue then takes up a position ready to run hoop 2 and then runs hoop 2 making sure to go slightly past the yellow ball. Again, the new player might be tempted to simply tap yellow again and then go over and score hoop 3. However, there is then nothing to use at later hoops. Blue first pushes yellow to a position between the centre post and hoop 6 for later use. It next positions itself near black and then runs black to the front of hoop 4 called a pioneer position. To be sure of having more than one ball to use at hoop 3, blue next positions near red and then rushes red into an escape position just past hoop 3. Blue then sets up in front of hoop 3 and then runs hoop 3 where red is available to gain two continuation shots. Blue then rushes red to a pivot position for future use. Again 
temptation beckons to simply go up, use black and run hoop 4. However, there is nothing at hoop 5 to use. So blue first sets up near yellow and then rushes yellow to the front of hoop 5 as a pioneer ball. Now blue positions near black and then rushes black to an escape position after hoop 4 with now two continuation sh strokes blue again sets up to run hoop 4 and then runs hoop 4. Black is now rushed to hoop 6 for future use as a pioneer ball. With its two continuation strokes blue now positions near yellow and then rushes yellow to an escape position at hoop 5. With the two continuation strokes it's now picked up. Blue now positions in front of hoop 5 and then runs it. Blue now rushes yellow to a pivot position and then positions itself near the red ball. Blue then rushes red to a pioneer position at one back which are AC terms or hoop 7 as it's called in GC. Using its two continuation strokes, blue first positions near the black ball and then rushes black into an escape ball position to gain a further two strokes. First it sets up to run hoop six and then runs it. Setting up Pioneer and Escape Balls is a very valuable technique for winning at Ricochet. It requires the player to set up both current and subsequent hoops with balls to score continuation shots from them. Avoid simply concentrating on splitting up opposition balls, i.e. being an Aunt Emma type player. And finally, Appreciate that a winning tactic for ricochet is a matter of planning and then balancing bravery and risk.